What's going on YouTube? Flatline back opening this second 250 baseball card cube. Has the uh, two additional packs. Every other cube contains an autograph or a relic. We did get that a relic card in the first one. Look through my other videos for that. Uh, I do have Flatline Jr. next to me. Say hi there. Hi. His son, he's going to be helping me open this. Uh, he is my good luck charm, hopefully, so we get an autograph or another relic. Uh, since I can't do the old any mini money mo chant, um, I didn't show this on the first one, but I thought I'd let you guys see in case you wanted to. I guess this repack is from the Fairfield Company. They claim to be uh, reading online the number one card repacking company. Uh, I think that might be a little self-proclaimed. The card crate might have something to say about that. But if you are uh, interested in them, I guess there's some of their info. They're on Facebook. Um, out of Des Moines, Iowa. So, without further ado, we'll start opening this up. We're going to do it like we did the first one. We'll open up the two packs, which is a 2016 opening day pack, and then the other one being uh, 2016 Series 1. And then we'll kind of pick out kind of the cool things from the cube and do a recap. And I do have a video coming out more of a slideshow video of the individual cards from that first one. Might do that again for this one, just so you guys can see exactly everything that was in this cube. Um, but yeah, we'll go from here. So start with this opening day pack here. Okay, just a hanger pack like the first one. Open it up. So we have an Addison Russell. Salvador Perez, Buster Posey, Clayton Kershaw, Adam Wainwright, Justin Bohr, Carlos Gomez, D. Gordon, Brian McCann, Josh Hamilton, oh, looks like uh, George Springer, some kind of refractory, not numbered or anything. Superstar Celebration, pie to the face, cool. Pie to the face. And then we got, yeah, you like that one? Mm -hmm. Francisco Rodriguez, 400 saves, that's a cool looking car. Striking distance. Um, cool. Greg Holland, ta-da. Hector Rondon, Taylor Jungman, John Segura. Oh, what do we got? What do we got there, Junior? A D-back. A D-back. Peter O'Brien, rookie card. That one will go off to the side. We are saving all. Prince Fielder. DJ LeMayhew. Ellen Betances. Butcher. Matt Reynolds. Future Stars. Chris Heston. Security. All right, we'll get this other one out. There it is. We'll find some more D backs in there. Something cool, an autograph. That would be sweet, huh? Yes, it would. So, whatever. Sweet. We're still looking for an autograph, huh? Uh huh. Hopefully, we'll get something. Or in then this. and now. Or then and now. Well, any kind of cool card we like. D Gordon. Liam Hendricks, Gregor Blanco, Hollywood Production, <laughs> Energized by Battery Power, okay. CDs Escobar, oh well, that's uh, what, Randy Johnson, Perspectives, wow, that's cool. And, you know, D-backs and a cool card. Awesome, that's going off to the side. Andre Dawson. That's neat. Pirate. Francisco Liriano. Pirate. Yeah, it's a pirate. Oh, what do we see in the back there? A D-back. You wanted a Future Stars. So it looks like a Future Stars Jake Lamb. Huh. He I, is a star. I, I thought Jake. I thought that would be like. Uh, Sorry about that. Um, the guy you say like your favorite baseball player. 
My favorite baseball player? Mm -hmm. Currently? Who's your favorite D-back? Paul Goldschmidt? Yeah, Paul Goldschmidt. I thought it would be Paul Goldschmidt. Who's your favorite D-back right now? Yasmani Tomas. You like Yasmani Tomas. Car awesome. All right, guys, we're going to take a break here. Uh, we'll be back at you when we go through this and uh, pick out all the kind of cool cards. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we went through these cards. Uh, kind of picked out some notable ones. Um, so we'll go first off, I guess, right on top here. This was the hit. We did get another relic, and that was... Uh, Raphael Palmiro, authentic game worn jersey from EX. It's not a Tops card or anything, I don't think, but it is numbered 387 out of 500. So that's cool. Oh, it's a Fleer card. Okay. Um, so another relic. So at least we got one of those. Um, Flatline Jr. here is going to go over some of the cards that he picked out and liked. So, we'll go through. Why don't you show them there one by one, buddy? Randy. Put it in front of the camera. Oh, all right. We'll go this way. So, we saw that. The Randy Johnson card we got. Yeah. He's an Arizona Diamondback. <laughs> Ex-Arizona Diamondback. He's retired. Yep. It was another. D-back. D-backs. We're saving all our D-backs for our personal collection. Yep. Oh, and then why'd you pick these cards? Because we were from Minnesota and we moved. So we moved, so you're picking out all the twin cards? Mm-hmm. There's another one, Brian Dozier. I really liked Brian Dozier. Saw him play a few times. Can I show it? You can show him that card if you want. Um, he wants to show you this is his special one. This is my special D-back. That. Yeah. Yasmani Tomas. His favorite Diamondback. Yasmani Tomas. Jeff Reardon. Legend card. Legend card. That's so he thinks. This one was cool. Picked out uh, AL batting average leaders. It has Maurer on there. That's why I kept it out. We'll be keeping it uh, in our personal collection. And Joe Maurer. Joel Maurer. And then... And the legend card. Uh, another... Uh, Flatline Junior Legend Edition card here. Yeah. It, uh, another one of those weird 90s cards. Just screams 90s to me. You know, this uh -huh. all computery looking, foily card. So, that was those. And there's some of the other ones that I picked out. Uh, this one I think I got in the last video. Jose Bautista. I kept it out because maybe I didn't realize it but this is like his epic bat flip i think like i didn't realize that if it's the same card if not i'm pretty sure that's what it is um so i kept that out i like that this was pretty neat barry bonds uh when he was with the pirates uh i was reading the back of this and uh, you can read that pause it um a man on a mission uh you know and Ellen slugging, ranked third in stolen bases, and fourth in home runs. Go figure. We would have only known what he would have turned into. So that's pretty neat, I thought. So keeping that one. These are kind of the personal collection that we're going. Um, the cool ones. So, oh, Zach Grinke, uh, Diamondback. More Daniel Hudson. Tory Hunter. Uh, even though this is Angels. With, he was with the Twins, was awesome, came back, retired as a twin. I think he did one of the one-day contracts. So, um, Really liked Torrey Hunter. Um, none of these cards are numbered, I don't think, except for the Relic card. Uh, this one I kept out, Delino De Shields. Um, just has that bronze foil. Again, not numbered, but still a pretty cool card. This one I don't know. Again, I uh, just kind of picked it out for... It's unique out of everything else. Some, some like red foil. Um, so, thought that was a pretty cool one. And we ran into more of these guys. These uh, Metal Universe. We found two of those in the first one. Uh, so we'll keep those. Go with the, the other two we have. 
The metal universe. More cards that just scream 90s. And in this one is cool. Uh, Albert Pujols card. Some kind of silver foil or something on it. And this one I was unsure. It says 6 of 10, but I don't know if that's again like a... Maybe there's only 10 in a special insert or something. This um, National Baseball card day. So... But, Albert Pujols, that's cool. I uh, don't really... Ah, uh, keeping some rookie cards. Anugla. John Ford Griffin. And then this one I kept out. I found one in the first one. They're stickers. Baseball stickers, which I don't think they're worth much. So this is going to uh, most likely go to uh, my son over here. Uh, he can do what he wants with them. Unless they end up being extremely valuable, but I doubt it. Because there's a lot of players in here. Um, a lot of cards that I, I just don't recognize. Old cards and whatnot. Here's another one that uh, just screams 90s. Uh, Brian Jordan. So, um, yeah, guys. That's it. Um, again, here's another short look at the, uh, the Relic card. And uh, that's what we got. So, as again, I said... For your, the value, they're running 9.99. I mean, you get a lot of cards, but um, the same right kind of buyer beware. There's a lot. You look at the back, and I know. Um, let's show you this uh, Ugla card is you know not actually representative of it, but you know it shows no MLB experience. Obviously, you know rookie card, but there are other cards going through the back, seeing if anything's numbered, that have like no experience. Um, or like one year experience, two year experience, and that was it. So there's a lot of uh, short lived career cards in there. So, but with that, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you on the next one. You go ahead and say goodbye. Goodbye. And I'm